Hello everyone, this is Etho. How are you guys doing today? I hope you said good. <laughs> it's going to be really awkward if you didn't say good. Um, I'm doing excellent. Why doesn't anyone ever ask how I'm doing? Nobody cares. Nobody. <laughs> you know, I see it guys. I see it in the comments. You, you always tell me I'm a bad actor. And you know what? That's why I punish you with it. <laughs> sweet, sweet revenge. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, that's why we keep the that's why we keep the acting to a minimum around here. Um Okay, so I'll tell you what happened. Yesterday I tried recording an episode uh of us finishing up the lab here. And we had to add a few things, which we'll check out in just a second. But the episode eh didn't really turn out too good. It wasn't bad, but it was kind of meh, kind of boring. So I decided to scrap it, and uh, instead of us like slowly building this and running running into millions of problems and me getting frustrated, uh, we're just going to check out what we built uh, yesterday <laughs> in the episode I never air. Um, I only had like 10 minutes recorded or something. Didn't miss out much. But uh, what we had left to do with the lab here is uh, we were going to... Make it so instead of having water bottles in these chests and ha like having a nether ward at the start of each of these brewing chains and then going to sugar, redstone, or nether wart, spider eyes, gunpowder, all that, uh, we skip the step of adding the nether wart and instead we start with awkward potions here. Uh, but then we gotta distribute those awkward potions. We brew them over there and we gotta send them to all these starter chests. Uh, so, like here, to this chest here. That one there, that one there. There's eight drop-off zones we have to send the awkward potions to. So that's that's what the episode was about. We were building a, a minecart system to to move them around. And I think I think the lab is done now. We just have to test it out. I haven't tested it to see if it works. But uh, let's go check some things out. So kind of finished up this area a bit. Uh, didn't really know what to do with this wall. <laughs> We have all this wiring back here, so it kind of had to be one thick, and that's about the best I could do at adding depth to the wall here. Um, we got the five brewing stands for brewing awkward potions, and we have hoppers above here that are supposed to distribute water bottles. So they run across these hoppers at the second level, and they get dropped off into these, and then uh, the brewing stands can pick them up. If we go up here, this is what I've added to uh, fill the the bottles to make water bottles. Um, I got a chest up here. These are the first ones we're doing, by the way. <laughs> I try to do everything for the first time on camera when I can. Uh, this is working so so. They seem to be falling. Maybe I got to stand a little more centered. Yeah. So the idea is we're going to have a huge, huge buffer of water bottles here. And these filter down through a bunch of hoppers uh, to these chests. And uh, these are going to be a big buffer of water bottles. There's, I think, there's a double chest there, 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 there. It's over five double chests, I think. And then we have all the hopper space, too. So it's a lot of, a lot of space for water bottles. Um, let's just throw a few more in here. And then we take these water bottles and we have to send them to those brewing uh, stands. So let's head on down once we finish up here. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah. Look at that party. Those bottles are jumping around. Woohoo! <laughs> Alright. Um, the thing is, I've added so much stuff here, I can't even get around. <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, okay, I think we can hop down here. Okay, so right above these hoppers are the brewing stands. Let's go over here. And... All those water bottles end up at this chest. Okay, so they filter into the hoppers. And Did they go down? Oh, they did, they did go down. That's good. So... Oh yeah, we can see it even. The brewing stands are filled with water bottles now. That's um 
<laughs> ah, this mess. This was part of the problem, I tell you. Mm, let's go through here. And close this back up. Okay, so these get filled up with uh, with bottles. They get brew into awkward potions. And this lever here is to control a clock that uh, controls emptying and filling these every 20 seconds. It switches, much like we had uh, for the brewing. I thought I, <laughs> I could have sworn I had a better way of getting down. I must have closed it up. Okay. So let's go down and see this thing running. So it switches. All the water bottles, they go to these hoppers down here, and they flow to this chest, which gets filled up with awkward potions. Then we need to pick these up. Can I break this? Can I break this? Yes. <laughs> All right. They get picked up here, or uh, at this hopper. Oh, these are from before. Don't mind these. Don't mind these. All awkward potions. Good, good. So a storage minecart will come here. It'll get filled up. And then it gets sent up this rail line. And this distributes it to all the drop-off zones. So the minecart goes around, uh, does a loop, and then it goes off to each of these branches. And there's a hopper system here. Let's actually get a minecart running here. We'll, we'll check it out. Okay, maybe before we get to the minecart thing, there's something I want to check out here. I'm wondering what happens if this backs up and we get stuck with some awkward potions in here and some water bottles. Is it going to make mundane potions? Because that will be a problem. Uh, I've went ahead and I've filled this totally up with water bottles, which are now being used. Yeah, like, totally, totally full. This double chest, this one, all, all of these totally full. This should be just about full as well, this awkward potion chest. Where is it? <laughs> uh, let's take this out. This out. Okay, awkward potions. Awkward potions. Yeah, it's totally full. So let's go back out there and see what happens to this brewing setup when it gets backed up. Let's find a way. <laughs> We've done this before. We'll go through here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awkward, awkward. And that's all the space there is. This is totally... We'll take one of these out and have a water bottle in. I'm not sure if... Oh, oh wait, no. See, I'm wondering if these awkward potions get transformed into mundane potions if you do nether ward on them twice. If they become mundane potions, we might have a problem. Come on. Ah, they're good. Sweet. <laughs> Alright, that simplifies things a lot. I was worried about that. So let's do the minecart thing now. Let's see how that works. Alright, we got the minecart, the storage minecart here. Please tell me it's filling. <laughs> it's full. Okay, good. Uh, this was supposed to... Hmm. Every time this power turns on, it was supposed to send power through here, down, and to the power rail below, but it doesn't seem like it's launching it. Let's, let's change this. Let's change this to four. Next time this turns on, let's see if it turns the power rail on. I think the minecart did move, it just needed more time. Should happen any second. So every time we brew a set of awkward potions, uh, the minecart should depart from here. It's only going to run when this system's running. Okay, there it goes. I don't want this running all the time because I find that really annoying <laughs> when you have a minecart running all the time. So it's going to make its way through all these drop-off zones. It's dropping off potions into this hopper here and as it's dropping it off there's always one one potion in this hopper um, and that that's how it knows it's in drop-off mode if there's no items in this hopper if there's no potions that means it's done dropping off and then 
uh, this this power rail turns on and the, the minecart takes off. If there's two or more items in here, it also takes off because <laughs> this is the thing I th think I had the most trouble explaining last episode. Uh, oh wow, it came back already. I only had three in. Hmm, that's less than ideal. See, since it's empty, it just goes over top these. These are powered by default, but if if there is an item in the minecart, uh, it'll send an item to this hopper. This turns a comparator on, and then there, this comparator goes to a redstone torch above. So, if items are passing through the hopper, this power rail turns off. Because that redstone torch goes to this wire, which is what powers this. If there is, let's see if we can see, if we can see it happen. See, it stops, it unloads. I think it picked up a bit more this time. Yeah, it's got fully, fully filled up. So that comparator's on. Now that it's done dropping stuff off, there's no items in this hopper, so that goes, that goes back off. Torch turns on. And it powers the power rail again. The thing I'm worried about is this minecart getting stuck on one of these drop-off zones. Uh, which should be pretty rare with this setup. Alright, maybe let's just watch this for a little bit. See if we spot any problems or anything. Uh, it's starting to fill up the, sp the stations here, which is good. We need these all to fill up before we turn the brewing on for the first time. Good, good. So we're just about halfway there, I think. And it seems to be running okay. I want to see... I've been playing around with the timing on this. Let's see if it picks up a full chest of potions or not. No. <laughs> Darn it. Okay, that time it picked up nine, it looked like. Or eight. So we're going to go down here. We're going to change the timing on the on the clock again. Uh, the problem with this, it just, the timing isn't jiving very well. Um, what's that? Five cobblin. It, it just so happens that the time it takes it to do the loop is like right when it returns, it's ready to go again. So if we delay it a little bit, it'll give it time to pick up potions out of this chest. And this seems to be keeping up okay with brewing the awkward potions. Kind of. <laughs> Have we run out of bottles, maybe? That might be what it is, because we filled up quite a bit of chest space already. Uh, okay. There's a little bit left, but it's running out. We're going to have to refill that soon. Uh, I got my internet back, guys. <laughs> I'm very happy for that. Uh, if you didn't know, my main internet line went down over a week I think. It turns out what the problem was um, at the switch box near here it got flooded and the, the cable shorted out uh, but I did have my backup uh, backup internet line it was definitely helpful <laughs> but uh, when they fixed the new or when they fixed my main internet they may have used wires from the old backup line that's supposed to be disconnected but I'm getting free internet from <laughs> but now no longer works because they um, they used it to repair the, the broken line so yeah I lost my backup line which kind of stinks I wasn't really using it just for emergencies like when my main line went out um, but yeah I don't have a backup line if it ever goes out again which kind of stinks so I might need to get another provider. Just in case it happens. This is this is going pretty good though. So let's head on out over here. Let's check things out. I'm very happy <laughs> this is finally just about done. Seems to be working okay. No awkward potions there yet, none there. But I think this chest is full. That's full. And this one's just starting to fill, I think. Cool. So we'll give it a little time. 
and then we'll fire up this master switch here and we will see everything running oh man this thing is crazy it's been running for like an hour total to get the potions throughout the whole thing and it's not because it's it's slow and it's taking it forever it's just because i went so so crazy overboard with this whole building um there's like a thousand bottles in the system already between water bottles and awkward potions and we haven't even started brewing yet it's going to be like 2,000, 3,000 potions in the, the system at all times, I think. Which is which is cool because we'll have like an endless supply. <laughs> but it's uh, it takes a long time to start it up here, I tell you. It's going to have to run for another hour or two, I think, to brew everything. But uh, that's where we're at right now. This is the grand beginning for Ethos Lab. Once we pull the switch, I think... I think everything's set up in a way that it's not going to go crazy. So here we go. Ethos Lab is officially open. Oh man, feel the lag. <laughs> oh man. This is going to be crazy. Okay. Have I said crazy yet? I think I have. So all these things are running right now. Um every 20 seconds it's gonna flip 40 seconds total for every three potions per chain this is becoming healing potions this is becoming uh, healing twos over here we have extended regions happening over here we have extended strength happening um, and weakness splash weakness over there it's happening. This is pretty cool. So it's got to do so many brews, and it's going to fill up all these chests, uh, starting with this back one. That's not supposed to be there. Uh, starting with the back chest, and then this one will fill up, then this one, then this one. This one's already full. Uh, we can have this thing running as this brewing happens. Whew. Pretty cool. Never ending potions. It's what I've always wanted. <laughs> um, we still might do a little more with this lab, but I think we'll leave it for the time being. Uh, I kind of wanted to set up some minecart system to send it through, send potions throughout other parts of my world. Like it would be nice to have speed potions everywhere, uh, wherever I need them. Now the thing is. Okay, here's a problem though. This is going to run out of gas tiers very soon. We don't have enough to fill up all these chests with regen potions. And we're probably never going to. So I think. Oops. I think something we can do. Uh, we got a hopper there. We got a hopper there. Let's put in an on off switch for all of these. I think if we power this, it'll shut it off forcefully. And we'll have to do that with the regens because it's just not <laughs> its not feasible to get that many gas tiers. Okay, so when it switched, this didn't fill up with potions. That's good. This is still continuing on, though. So that'll stop it if we want it to stop. We'll let these finish, though. Yeah, so this has been running for quite a while now, actually, and all the chests are filling up with potions. It's wonderful. It's awesome. Once these fill up, it, it's like they're going to last forever. <laughs> uh, it's going to be really easy to maintain the potion supply once once they fill up. Uh, it's just this initial startup phase that's, that's quite uh, expensive and time-consuming. Got some night vision starting there. It's getting to the point now, though, where we are running out of ingredients, and I'm going to have to stop it, actually, because remember this chest that was full of bottles, glass bottles, when we started? Well, almost full. I think there's three three stacks missing. Uh, those have all been used up. <laughs> They're all in the system right now, and there's still room for more, so it's, it's a ton of potions in here. Uh, what else do we got going on? 
got uh, poison potions there. We got our speed potions. Um, yeah. So it's adding up. Let's take a few of these, actually. And over here we have slowness. Lots of potions ready already. Very good. Weakness ones over there. Strength. Is this full? Yeah, that's full. So it looks like about two double chests got done in the amount of time we left it. Which is pretty good. But yeah, we'll, we'll shut it down for now and we'll finish it up later when we get the ingredients together again. And we'll turn this off as well. One thing I noticed with this, it was not keeping up anymore. Like this is empty. There's no more awkward potions in here. Uh, this one was starting to run out. So what that means is this cannot keep up with this, which I expected that because we have seven chains running here, or we had, and there's only five brewing stands here. So this is just a little bit slower, but that's fine because um, it's <laughs> it's only this initial startup that's really taxing on the system. All right, so maybe one more thing we'll do this episode. I have a lot of people asking me about the library, so let's go check that out. Uh, let's take let's take Zenith. Zenith is our good horse. Let's go, go for a little ride. Hmm, had to skip the night there. It was pretty rough. Zenith took some hits. It wasn't nice. Uh, but yeah, let's go check out the library. It's just at the end of this path here. Uh, a lot of people are interested in the library. They're wondering what state it's been at. We haven't been here in a long time. Uh, I have worked on it a little bit, but I think we need to maybe redesign a little little bit of our plans because I was originally planning to make a big rectangle with it. And after working on Ethocorp on the Minecraft server, I think this is what I've done that I haven't shown, just this little wall here. Uh, after working on Ethocorp on the Minecraft server, that building's only maybe 20 by 20. This one's like 40 by 40 with with a, the layout we had here. Uh, and Ethocorp <laughs> took me forever to work on or to finish. It's I like to put a lot of detail in my builds. I'd rather build something smaller and spend a lot of time on it and get it the way I like it than just build big plain walls and that kind of thing. Uh, so I think if we do a 40 by 40 with this, we're going to have problems. So we should simplify it a little bit. But uh, yeah, we'll try work on this sometime soon. I do like this look here, the bottom of these. I think this was supposed to be a wall here. Then we got the window and a wall. Uh, I, I was having a little bit of a problem with my building here. I was adding in way too many windows. Um, now that we have clay blocks, I almost want to incorporate those into this instead of using mm, wood on the inside. Maybe clay would be nicer. I'm not sure, though. Let me know what you guys think. But uh, anyway, that is the library. And this is the comment picked out for today. It says, Etho, you see anything you like from what Jeb's been tweeting? Sunflowers and new biomes? It's really sweet, man. If you haven't done so already, check. <laughs> I really butchered that. If you haven't done so already, check it out. I swear I can read. I swear. Uh, yeah, I've seen the screenshots of the biomes, and uh, they, they're looking pretty good. Pretty excited about it. We got a new block type, it looks like. That bog earth type thing, which is pretty cool. Um, I, think, I think they've shown about three or so biomes. I can't quite remember now. The one that really caught my eye, though, was the floating island biome. That was really cool. I really hope they add it to the game. I'm not sure if it's a biome or just a setting uh, that could be applied to all biomes when you, when you generate your world. But yeah, some pretty exciting stuff coming out. And as someone that plays survival Minecraft a lot, that's, that's a feature that really appeals to me. I know some people aren't overly excited about new biomes because they don't really affect them <laughs> but for me I definitely look forward to them uh, 
you think of something like even jungles when they came out you know some people weren't too excited but uh i I've, I've definitely uh settled down in jungle biomes a few times now they're they're really nice and i expect these new biomes will be pretty cool too so can't wait till the next patch um that's going to be it for today guys hope you enjoyed i'll see you again next time bye bye